What's going on, YouTube? This is Necrostevo, and it's time for the latest and greatest week in the Indigo League of Legends. Of course, this week my opponent was Johnny Diesel, and uh, I, I definitely regret to say that I didn't really get to plan for this the way I wanted to. A lot of life things going on at the time kind of um, not only did give me time to breed for the Pokemon sets that I wanted to use, just not the planning that I really put in before the match. And uh, But that's not going to stop me here. I, I really like what I brought because I thought it was really creative. Uh, first of all, we have a very defensive Dragalge. Lots of HP and defense. I wanted several checks to Manaphy on this team. And Dragalge is a decent one if he starts spamming Scald. Uh, with a lot of HP and defense, I can also live um, an Earthquake from Excadrill. So that's really nice too. Crawdon is a really weird set with a scarf. Uh, shout outs to Aqua Conjure for giving me that idea. Actually, for uh, I decided to forego Aqua Jet for this week, thinking that a scarf would allow me to pick up, um, not lose any power like I will with Aqua Jet, and then use Scarf Waterfall to pick up a lot of KOs uh, if needed. Aurora suspects just because he really didn't have any good repeated switch ins for Aurora's. And I also went Hyper Voice to have a, a chance of two at KOing Porygon 2. Um, I went Mega Latios so that I would have the ability to do uh, a mono, uh, I guess a Crow Tios set up with Dragon Dance, um, sorry, Dragon Pulse, Calm Mine, Roost, and uh, just try to, to, to really batter his team. He didn't have any fairy types, so I wasn't very worried about that. Um, a little bit of miscommunication before the battle, I guess, between the Sheet and Johnny Diesel and the people doing the Sheet means that when he went into this battle, I don't think he was using the Pokemon that he really wanted to use, so he did do me a favor, and he just brought the team that was on the sheet. Um, I don't know if that was the team he actually wanted to bring or not. Um, but, yeah, I did go Banded Embor this week just because I really felt like I could put on some serious pressure up against his team. Uh, and, of course, Lipart in the last slot. Yet another check for Manaphy. Seed Bomb. Knockoff, U-Turn, and Thunder Wave. I was also relatively afraid of Scarf, uh, Darmanitan. So Thunder Wave would give me a way to really slow that thing down if it just became unmanageable. Um, I did I started off with Dragalge here, hoping that he would start off with Thunderous. But then I was afraid that he would not only taunt me, to stop me from setting up my Toxic Spikes, he could also just go right for uh, setting up Nasty Plot to, two hit, to easily one-hit KO me with Psychic or something. So I went for damage with Sludge Wave. Not having adaptability really hurts Dragology's ability to put on pressure. So that Sludge Wave did nothing. Uh, you may be wondering why I have Poison Touch instead of um, Poison Point. And that was because I was afraid Porygon 2 would trace the Poison Point, and then I would hit it with a U-turn or maybe with a superpower from Mimbor, and then get Poison. So that's the only reason I went with that version. Uh, I was very, very pleased with the amount of damage Dragalge was um, taking from attacks throughout this battle. Also, I was very, very pleased with how uh, well Specs Auroras was doing that amount of damage on defensive Porygon 2 to a KO very, very cleanly from that range. Um, as I expected here, I actually predicted him to go out from Porygon 2 into his uh, into another Pokemon, but he actually ended up going into Excadrill. Which sucks, I get off a of Mega Evolution, but I ended up switching out right away because I didn't want my Latios to be paralyzed. Uh, and of course, Dragalge basically walls Thunderous unless it has Psychic, and I didn't think he would have Psychic for this battle because I lit, I left uh, Mega Venusaur benched. Um, now, with this opportunity, I had an opportunity to set up Toxic Spikes earlier. I'm going to go ahead and take it this time, um, expecting the Ice Beam to come in. I go out into Crawdon here, as he actually just goes for recover. So that, I mean, that worked out. I kind of forced him to recover in that regard. I just went straight for superpower here because even at minus one, I can two at KO Porygon uh, with my choice scarf. And then I get a switch into something if he comes in with his um, Excadrill. And I also could have gone for knockoff there, but I was afraid he would go out into Absol and superpower threaten basically everything they had on his team, except for Thunderous. Uh, he recovers again boldly in my face. That was a very bold recovery because I could have just gone for another superpower and knocked him out. But he definitely called my bluff there as I went on to Dragalge. Uh, and once again, we have this issue with this Scarf Excadrill that I don't have any switch-ins for. Um, and I, we actually pulled yet another double switch. I went on to Embor 
expecting him to go out into his uh into Absol or something like that to block another layer of Toxic Spikes because then he could Mega Evolve and I couldn't really do anything. But since he made that switch, I have to go out into my Crawdon just as Death Fodder. And he doesn't, again, he doesn't know what type of Latios this is. So, so now I get to set up in his face, hopefully. Because uh, after three Calm Minds, I can basically 2 it KO uh, Excadrill with Dragon Pulse, which is really, really nice. I did go for Substitute on the switch just in case he went on in the Thunderous. That way I wouldn't have to worry about being paralyzed. And I was also hoping that he 